Alrighty then, for those of you on YouTube, welcome back. For those of you on Twitch, I didn't never went anywhere. Um, but yeah, so we have two more soldiers here. We uh, we have the Joker here, haha, -ha. and we have Miss Sniper Nolan. Uh, very cool, very cool. Uh, and I'm gonna go through mods quickly here. I have a ton, and I'm gonna be working on an actual mod list, but. I'll go through some of the higher impact ones. We've got a ton of cosmetic mods, of course. I won't go through each of those, but yeah, so various cosmetic options. Uh, we have, yeah, I'll just, that's cosmetic. We have some various fixes, so just like bug fixes and stuff. Yeah, not this playthrough. Next playthrough, I'll be using some class mods, but I just wanted to do the vanilla for now. I will miss infantry. I freaking love infantry. Um, but yeah, so no class mods uh, this playthrough. Uh, at least for now, we might might even add some stuff in, but probably not. Um, but yeah, so various fixes. I don't think anything worth uh, talking about too much there. Uh, yeah, it's fine. And then we do have a bunch of quality of life stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I've, I've seen, I think I've even played with that infantry. It's pretty well balanced. Um, but yeah, so then just to quickly go through our quality of life things, we've got additional icons, which uh, show up health bars and health, health count and damage and movement and loot indicators, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that one's nice. We've got uh, Advent flashlights, just they have flashlights now and stuff. Better grappling it fixes some grappling issues. Uh, cinematic rapid fire, cost based ability colors, that one's really nice and I wouldn't play without it. No, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's super nice. It shows you the uh, if the thing's going to end your turn or not right on the bar and stuff. Very nice. Then we've got Detailed soldiers list as well as extended personal info for stuff like the screen we're on right now um, Does some good stuff. We have expanded call signs and nicknames just add some more stuff to the pool for a bit more variety of the random nicknames We have faster reload animations Free reload anytime which gives you the uh, Ability to use your free reload or not, which is pretty good. Gotcha again Hours instead of days. I like that one as well. It shows, as the name implies, hours instead of days. Um, melee weapon breakthrough. It means that weapon breakthroughs affect custom, well, not custom weapons, but like the any melee weapon instead of just swords. We've got new promotion screen by default, new target icons. This shows different stuff on the uh, map when you're targeting people. Uh, peak from concealment, quick soldier info, that's the, the little bar that you can see, see it use turns and everything, pretty cool. Uh, stabilize me, you can use a down soldier's med kit to uh, stabilize them, which is very nice. Tactical UI kill counter, that's a little kill counter up in the top right, uh, shows active aliens, pretty useful. Although it can bug out a little bit sometimes. Uh, just because there's so many different aliens. Black market usage, another very, very handy quality of life one. Uh, it shows what... Uh, yes, there's the DLC axe. There's the upgraded swords, although those would affect it. But yeah, mainly it's like the axe and uh, I, I think a few other weapons. But yeah, axe is the main alt one, and I don't think it used to uh, benefit from the weapon break. Well, the sword breakthrough we have say so yeah, at black market usage when you hover over something in, that you're going to sell in the black market it shows you what it can be used for we have evac all another just like yeah get this uh get this mod great great quality of life let's see evac everyone at once faction flags just adds uh reaper templar and skirmisher flags for nationality uh free camera rotation infinite tlp weaponry lets you uh it removes the mods. I didn't even realize this, but uh, by default, you get those. Uh, you get the one version of the uh, tactical legacy pack weapon. Uh, 
and it comes with two random mods or something. I really don't like that it changes gameplay. Uh, so this kind of does the opposite. It takes the mods away, but lets you have infinite of them if you like the visual look more than the uh, more than the default. So yeah, you can have all the old world assault rifles or sniper rifles or whatever that you could possibly desire. Then we have instant Avenger menus, uh, just speed things up around here. Some color mods, the 1 million colors, Overwatch all slash others. Very good mod, only thing to keep in mind is don't use it against alien rulers because it's cheating since they react to every action and that lets you use up to six actions all at once. Uh, just basic scope, laser stock, not too much. I know, but it's still it's still stuff you wouldn't normally have. But yeah, there's other stuff that's bigger impactful anyway. Not a big deal, but I, I prefer this. I prefer having it just uh, cosmetic. And we've got row-based scrolling speed, which is all right. Show more buff details. Stop wasting my time. Full crew Avenger, uh, which repopulates the Avenger. It got kind of empty, but now you can see more people walking around. It's just a visual thing. We got the tech tree I showed you. Uh, we have upcoming events, and that's uh, hours instead of days on the uh, Holoscape as well. View lock skills. Geoscape apps. That makes the Geoscape uh, more colorful and intuitive. Wear armor on the Avenger, similar to the other Avenger fix. This just makes some of the soldiers actually walk around in their armor as well. Configurable headshots, extended information, enhanced AOE preview. Oh, extended information is another really good one. It gives you like the health bar, the health and armor and everything gives you just a more clear display and yeah, very nice. Uh, we have Enhanced AOE Preview, another very nice one. Nice mission debriefing, better, uh, more things you can see and awards you can get per soldier and stuff on the mission debriefing. Show enemies on terrain on mission planning. Uh, oh, show enemies and terrain on mission planning. So you can enable that to cheat for you, but otherwise it just... Uh, shows them if you have the shadow chamber but it's really nice that it shows you which terrain you're going into so that's mainly what i use that one for color coded bonds another really nice one it color codes the bonds as the name would imply um and robo jumper squad selects prettys up the uh squad uh thing and show gts class counts you can actually see that right up here uh, my mouse is hidden right now since I'm not in... But yeah, you can see it at the top right there. It shows how many of each class you have available. Yet another F1 is the uh, information panel. Very nice. You can pull that up uh, when you're hovering over an enemy. Well, not hovering, but you're actually selecting them. Then I've got a few here categorized as gameplay. We have Flawless, which gives you a slight uh, random reward if you Flawless a mission. Uh, so yeah, I have that categorized as gameplay. Uh, it's mostly it's mostly for feels, but it I it also does change gameplay. Got spark ammo slot, which won't come into account for a little bit, bit but let's the sparks use ammo gives them another additional slot. We've got skirmisher rebalance, which uh, changes the skirmisher a little bit. I think it's primarily a buff, but yeah, it seemed like some nice stuff. I don't remember all the details, but looked good not overpowered or anything. We've got more mission sit reps, which is probably our biggest uh, straight up gameplay change. Like I said, I'm going pretty light on it. It's mostly cosmetic and quality of life and fixes and stuff. But yeah, more mission sit reps just means that you can get sit reps more often. So it makes it a little bit more dynamic and stuff. So missions will be a little different. We've got reliable wounds, which smooths out the wounds. Uh, which one? You saw which one in the Let's Play? Um, EU aim rolls, which is really nice, makes it so you don't crit as much in full cover because it used to roll them all into one. Yeah, more sit reps. I like it. So we've got EU aim rolls. I really like that one. Just makes things more sensible because before how it was is if you it rolls them all into one. The crit and the hit uh, is the same. So if you're if you're in cover it lowers the chance to hit and if of course and if you lower the chance to hit to at near or below the crit chance 
then if it hits, it's always going to crit pretty much. Um, so yeah, if it's equal to or below, it will always crit. And if it's near, it will almost always crit. Because like if you have a 30% chance to hit and a 28% chance to uh, crit or something, then there's only that slight gap where you'd hit and not crit. So basically, there were instances where if an enemy hit you or if you hit an enemy in full cover, it's always going to crit, and that just doesn't make any sense. Like, let's say I, I like breaking it up, making it independent like that. We've got electrical damage consistency, which is technically a gameplay, so I put in that category, but it, it just makes it... I forget exactly what it does, but it makes damage a little bit more sensible in a few fringe cases. Uh, and then there's a few I just turned on today so we've got a few more cosmetic ones i won't go through there we've got uh increased combat intelligence for everyone that just lets uh the people who actually benefit from it most uh the salt the faction heroes reapers uh templars and the skirmishers uh go on the mission the sit uh not sit reps the Intel co covert actions that let them increase their combat intelligence. So just a nice little change there. Uh, we've got, so yeah, that's another cosmetic. We've got turrets are cover and tower detection fix. So that, that's just a fix. Stops towers from detecting you after they're blown up. Turrets are cover. Let's turrets be cover after they're blown up. We've got another fix there. Full character customization from start. Disable Reaper overlay. I haven't seen that one in action yet, but I don't really like the Reaper overlay, so we'll see how that works. Um, we've got chosen dialogue tweaks, Archon's visual diversity, and better repeater. I'm interested to try this one out too, because better repeater removes the chance to kill on repeaters and replaces it with flat crit damage. So if you crit, you do more damage but it no longer lets you outright execute people. Execution was fun, but just so RNG reliant and so OP. Like, I don't like that you can just... It leads to some hilarious stuff, but I don't like that you can, like, execute sectopods and something. So anyway, that's that's the mods. And like I said, I'll, I will post a full mod list uh, soon. But there we go. Uh, anyway, and I already showed off our new soldiers. So yeah, let's get to the gameplay. No, a very angry sectopod mod. Uh, no, like I said, most not. I didn't change too many enemies. I didn't change too many other things. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. So yeah, I think we're good to go. We just need to go on a mission, get an engineer and stuff. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. Wait, I want to play. Center of our I'll let operation. this go. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Yeah, so I'm playing this obviously I've still got like a shit ton of mods but I'm in many ways I'm playing this mostly vanilla uh, where the frick is our anything that's really weird uh, let's see let's try that again um, yeah there we go that was weird all right we have supplies and that's our only option commander we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, <laughs> the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search like the area for clues or other there. resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Another important step forward in our research. Uh, yeah, that sounds crazy, Highlander, the very angry sectopod. All right, so we've got magnetic weapons research available and weapon upgrades available. 
Alright, that's going to take way too long. I think we do the hybrid materials just gets us the best, but I think it builds to other stuff too, right? Yeah, it, it leads to plated armor. Vests are kind of useless, but I think we'll push this because we alien bio. What is it? Alien biotech leads to um, the yeah. That's what I was going to say. The autopsies and stuff, as well as advanced force center, which I don't think is a thing anymore. So yeah, it's mainly just autopsies. So yeah, let's let's do the hybrid materials for now. I agree. That is an important task. And Commander. keep scanning. Strategic resource Alright, we got 48 supplies. Go us. We got rookies. Avenger plotting new course. We got rookies. This will prove to be an important All right. step forward. So yeah, we got the vest there. Don't care. And I mean I, do we just go where are I thought there were other options here. I, knew, I know it's slight, but I thought there's other stuff we upgrade first. I don't usually jump right to mag weapons here. I'm, it feels weird. It feels weird. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I guess we still do alien biotech for the chance of getting uh, free uh, autopsies, but I think that's based on amount of corpses you have anyway. So yeah, we could jump straight to mag weapons. That feels so weird though. What do I usually do? That does not feel like what I usually do. Um, I guess let's go mag weapons. Designed weird. Eager to begin, Commander. All right, Commander. As the right. resistance continues to grow, yeah. we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. Yeah, we can get As it is, here. we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Alright, so it's listed as easy. <laughs> so we'll probably do do we wanna do we want an A-team? Do we just bring everyone here? Or we're obviously bringing our viewer soldiers, but do we bring other people? Uh, recover item from resistance statement. So yeah, we can bring our main guys or bring some of the rookies along. But, um, I think we bring Grenadier just because the increased range. Maybe, so yeah, maybe and then one rookie. Let's just go by... Yeah, I think it's standard here. We'll probably do some not created equal stuff later. But yeah, so we've got the only things that are randomized it looks like is combat intelligence. We've got a gifted person over here. Ooh, we've got a genius. So yeah, I guess we bring the genius. And I'm not a big fan of the alien thing, so maybe we could change. Yeah, let's at least change the face. Uh, it would be under head, face, renegade, head A. Let's just go with like, that's not too bad, but you can be face D. And since she's a random, I don't need to customize anything else, that's fine. Let's actually, ah, I can't help myself. Let's do the legs, because I don't like that she has the powered armor sort of thing. That's not too bad. It works pretty well with the other stuff. Sure. Sure. Like I said, choose a random so we don't care too much. Um, Alright. Uh, we don't need anything to unequip. Everyone's got their Kevlar. Everyone's got their guns. And we don't have any... Oh! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm glad I remembered. Let's, let's try out our new DLC. So instead of the cannon, they should have the exact same stats. They do. Good. Yeah, so instead of the cannon, we're going to take a light machine gun. Any weapon mod? No, because it gets so messy. And I won't bother. We do have the resistance warrior Kevlar, but she's already customized. So that's fine. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. And we don't have anything else. We can bring flashbang or medkit. I'll leave both grenades on her, though, just because she's got the extended range and everything. Hey, Mira, how's it going? Yeah! 
Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I probably won't put anything on yet. We don't really need it. Um, but yeah, we've got hair trigger, bonus action chance, expanded magazine. I don't know what I'll put those on yet. It's not hugely impactful at this point. Hey, Salty, how's it going? Um, yeah, and instead of the shotgun, let's do the scatter gun. This is so cool that we can use those. Yes. And so, so yeah, we'll just take out all the DLC stuff. So instead of the sword, we'll take the traditional sword. Very cool. And let's take the old world assault rifle. Very nice. And we'll give you the flashbang. Your oh, actually, I like. I generally snipers are good at with flashbangs because you don't always have to use them, but then you can when you need to. Stay a flashbang, uh, med kit. So yeah, since it's early, we don't have a whole lot of comp uh, customizations, so this should go pretty quick. Okay, and then we'll take the marksman rifle, which looks so cool, and we do have a traditional handgun as well. Oh, oh, some good shit in that in that DLC. I like it. I like it. So yeah, this is our team. We have, and yeah, I don't think I bother with any mods. Who would I, what would I mod? Um, hair trigger, bonus action chance. That could be decent on the uh, light machine gun and expanded magazine. Could be good on. Well, it's pretty. It's universally good. Um, could be good on the assault rifle. Uh, but yeah, I think for now I'll just leave them off. I don't care too much, and it gives us more options down the line. Uh, so yeah, let's go do it. We have to recover item from Resistance Haven, and it's in Subway. This is what I was talking about up here. That's That mod shows the place you're going, gives you an idea. She, she still looks kind of weird, but at least she doesn't have an alien face. Eh, it's alright. She's, she's fine. Okay, and then we have uh, our viewer soldiers here. Uh, sniper and Joker. Let's go. Let's go. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. Thank you. Squad green to deploy. Subway map. Let's go. Picked up a weak signal coming from a group of resistance operatives. Apparently, they've stumbled on the location of an advent data vault storing files critical to the aliens' latest project. As far as we can tell, hostile forces also picked up on the signal, and they weren't about to leave anyone from the resistance alive. We're going in to sweep the site, eliminate all hostile forces, and find the assets. Let's go. Hell yeah. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move to disarm no and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Damn. Yeah, I brought a rookie instead. I forgot that this one you do need to hack it. Um, so, yeah, I, I should have, but I was kind of greedy and thought we'd bring a rookie instead. Um, so, yeah, no, no specialist. We'll just have to deal. Uh, Yep. All right. Rookies lead the way. So yeah, that's that's quite the distance. We're gonna have to skedaddle. We see nothing yet. We can't get anywhere else, unfortunately. Uh, we can't go over here. Understood. Moving out. Fair. We're really gonna have to book it. We should be fine, but we'll do. Lesson learned: always bring a specialist. And unfortunately, we can't really see, so I think I will just stack up on no the wall twice. here. Uh, sniper, I'll stick you here just in case we get a uh, shot through. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, right, so we've got their a genetic trooper structure and now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, um, with an even greater psionic potential. 
I guess let's just walk up to the door. Hey, get out of my way. There we go. We could also, of course, go to the roof. Heading out. It's not bad, actually. Eh. Sure. Position confirmed. And there is high ground. Um, sure. Moving out. Let me see. It's like no. Alright, that's fine. And let's get you up by the door. Yeah. Or we can even move you further. I mean, yeah, we can stick you there. You're the ranger. Uh, I can't. Yeah, we'd be able to. See. No, we wouldn't be able to see. I'll just go to the door just to be safe. So they can see through the windows. And let's bring you up there. Time to motor. What was that? All right, we got another sectoid over there. Oh, what? They, they're, they're coming into the train! That's not right! Not... Yeah, I don't see that usually. Damn, they saw us by one pile, too. That's a joke. That's a joke. At least this guy's an idiot. Holy shit! Oh! Wow, so we're starting things off good. We're starting things off good. We've got the flank here. Oh man, that's unfortunate actually though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got the shotgun flank too. Let's see, can you see anyone? You cannot, because they're inside the train. That's fun. Okay, I think a uh, shotgun is going to do a fair bit of damage. Uh, so, let's bring you up to here, I guess. Oh, that was unfortunate. Almost got him killed. Yeah, 91. Oh, actually, good. We're still in slash range, but they take more damage from slash. So, 4 to 6, but 50% to crit versus 6 to 8, but only 10%. So, guaranteed 6 to 8 or a chance. Oh. Oh, so it is about the same. So it's 7 to 9 if we crit versus 6 to 8. I think I'll just take this. Yeah. Yes. Not too shabby. I was like, I think that was 8. Alright, cool, perfect. Uh, we can get a flank on that, and that should kill. And you're the only one close enough, so let's just do it. Don't spot anything else. That. Nice. Oh, that was dramatic. I like Not it. Too shabby. That sucks that we got revealed, though, because I really need to be moving up, especially since I don't have the hacker. We're pretty close, but I know there's aliens in here, too, so I think I just overwatch. Ah, this feels bad. Come get some. Yep. And then we'll move forward next turn. Ah, you're in a bad position there. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Heading out! Yep, Advent Trooper, Advent Trooper. I thought I heard a sectoid around too, but maybe I was mistaken. Alright, Sniper, can you see anything? You can. Alright, you've got a 75 on that guy. We can also go for grenades. Oh, you don't, you have a med kit. Um. Damn. You can't see. Oh, wow, you can actually see that guy from here. Um, if you in full Seems cover, though, that's good, at least that she gets a shot. We've got 49. Not great. We also do have a grenade if we wanted, which would stand a decent chance of killing. Can you? Wow, I'm surprised these shots are working. So we can go to full cover. Yeah. Whatever you say. 
Joker. Um, it's still red. I swapped you. Let's see where where are you? Oh, I moved. No, I moved you over there. It's hard to see on the map, but I swapped you over to the old world assault rifle, which doesn't have as clear colors, but it is definitely red. I can swap it back if you want, though. But I was enjoying the uh, old world thing. We can't see. So yeah, we can't do anything else. So I will go ahead and take the shot. So yeah, you can see it's red tinted, but not as clear. Say, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take this part. Oh, we don't need to see it. Yes, nice shot, Joker. That was nice. Well, how about that? How about that? All right, and I guess we just take this one here. Go sniper. Oh, you guys are stars. Our viewer soldiers Whoa, coming up big here. Um, and I don't want to risk popping anything else when we only have two actions, so I think we just Overwatch. Come get moving to Overwatch. So yeah, we're kind of spread out now, but we also have to motor. Let's go up. On your order. Eyes on the target. All right. Menace one five. Cool. This we didn't Avenger. spot we anything else. Confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Uh, we could spot something over here, but I'm kind of tempted to move up, and I think we do. Man, I wish I'd brought a specialist, because we get a slightly better chance to hack, and I'd forgotten this was a hacking mission. Uh, well, because it didn't say for one thing, but I mean, the first mission I think it is. Anyway. Um, man, I'm tempted to go here. But I guess there's chances we spot here as well. Uh, we'll, we'll still have turns. Let's see. Can you get to other high ground? I thought there was something through here, but I guess not. Just the balcony over there. We can go there, but that's super risky. I think we just go here. Double time! Double time! Is this XCOM? Right? Except every time I ask, is this really XCOM, then they XCOM me, so... Uh, yes. Yes, this is XCOM. It will probably prove it's XCOM fairly soon. And yeah, let's go ahead and put you up. So yeah, no, I think that was I think that was day one of the uh, blast from the past legacy op. I asked, is this XCOM? Because we kept having things go well, and then immediately afterwards, I missed like a 98% ch shot. So yeah, I'm still convinced this is XCOM. I'm not ready to taunt XCOM by saying it's not. Uh, let's go. On Overwatch. Enemy movement ahead. All right, so yeah, there is enemy is over there, and we are going to be just in time. Um, at least another mission after this. We'll see. So yeah, I don't know the exact thing, but that's full cover, but flankable. Unfortunately, that's our sniper up front. Uh, let's move forward once here with our rookie. I'm on it. There is high ground up there too. Wow, we didn't spot. All right, and she can go up and hack next turn. And I, I forget if hacks a free action or not. But yeah, let's just. Ooh, that is actually tempting for our sniper now. Uh, we could put our sniper. That's not bad. Uh, only problem is it risks spotting stuff. Do we just go? I'm tempted to just go. It's not. It's a little risky. We step out one one square further than we are right now, so might spot something over there, and we definitely step out higher. But it's very tempting because it would get our sniper the high ground. Other thing we could do is come over this way, because we know the enemy is over here, so if we come over this way, it's not as, quite as risky. Will trigger? You're probably... Yeah, you're right, and I was just saying this is XCOM, so I think we leave our sniper where they are then. Get our ranger up close. I can handle that. You can handle that. And yeah, both people are in range for... Uh, activating this next turn and I guess we'll bring you up here Whatever too and we'll leave sniper where they are so we get the uh we're not gonna need to fire multiple times but I don't think we're gonna overwatch this time anyway anyway whatever we'll overwatch all in case they walk towards it there we go 
Yeah, what you think would happen. Good point. And it looks like they've moved a little bit. Alright, one turn. I'm surprised Bradford didn't warn us. Yeah, let's go here. This is definitely going to trigger, but we have to anyway. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to see them through there. Oh, actually there's a wall there, so we didn't. Wow. Uh, wow, yeah, she's got no hack chances, but that's alright. That's alright. 1%. Um, I, I, we're we're going to go for the 1%. Watch us hit like 98. I'm going to be pissed if we would have got the 5%. But yeah, it's, both are so rare, I'm going to go for the 1%. If we hit the 1%, I will then start to doubt if this is XCOM or not. Let's go. Alright, alright. Yeah. This is probably XCOM. Good to go. Oh yeah, we are. Weapon schematics. Good shit. Menace one five. Status confirmed. Yeah, so the charges are inactive somewhere. and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining. Since they're behind, the I am tempted to go like up here or something. No, because then we wouldn't even have shots. Maybe we go here with our sniper. Or even over here, because I think they're far enough back that we don't trigger. Yeah, they're like way over here it looks like. So maybe I go here for full cover. and It's probably blocked by there, so maybe we go to half cover though. Don't spot anything. We can hunker if we do spot, but... Oh, of course. Alright. Alright. It's XCOM. That's unfortunate. That's my bad though. In hindsight, it's like, yeah, of course. Of course. Alright, we do have flashbang. No one can really get in range here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's too bad. That's a really bad pop. Um, and Joker, go to half cover. Uh, I dang, do I, oh, we actually have slash, but not on the sectoid. Unfortunate. But yeah, we could go to half cover. It's not ideal. And unfortunately, they took cover behind very sturdy stuff. I wish this didn't see. I wish we could go here and then overwatch. Um, I mean, we still can, of course. We can go to full cover with you. Let's do that. Ah, uh, I should have moved. No, it's fine. We can still get there. We've got a 29, or we can grenade. Fortunately, we can't hit both of them. We could do this. I think I might. I don't think it destroys the cover outright. I wish we could hit this, but we can't really. Okay, I don't think it destroys the cover outright, but it does get us some damage on them. Other thing I could have done is Overwatch. I'll just take the three to four damage here. Three, and yeah, it didn't uncover him, unfortunately. And then I think I will run up with Joker, because we are going to flashbang, so there'll be flashbangs, so. Uh, and 46, 46, it actually does have a chance to kill, but not a very high one. Uh, I think we're probably just going to overwatch. So yeah, let's flashbang these guys. This one's gonna be bright. Boom! And yeah, do we take the shot, or do we overwatch? Or we could grenade. If we really want them. I think I think we will take the shot. Oh Joker! My man! You know that was good. You know that was good. Okay. Whew. I'm alright. Alright. Uh I think that star means she has already earned a promotion. So we don't need to give the rookie a kill. We could smash in with Joker. We could even do our sword attack because swords are cool. Uh, but we'll we'll fire with the shotgun. Your OG, OG and OP. Um, let's go here with slightly less chances. Okay. Keep talking, buddy. Huh. 
Good ragdoll. Is that it? Yes. And we'll see what loot we get. We automatically pick up the loot. So. Alright, and here's our flawless reward. So we get our resistance eyes. We're very impressed with your squad's performance, Commander. As a reward, they have donated 25 alien alloys. And we get two ability points. Pretty cool. Alright. Uh, so yeah, and then this is the nicer mission or whatever. Oh, and yeah, I want to make sure that people have their new photos. So let's create a new photo since... <laughs> uh, he fights for your future. Let me know what kind of photo you want. I'll take this one for now. now. And so yeah, let me calendars. know if you want to change it. That's pretty good. Hell yeah. Um, and we'll create a new one for a random too. Oh yeah, that scowl. Yeah. And... Uh, this is, yeah, you got changed to sniper. Same thing, uh, let me know if you want different things. I'm gonna randomize this a little bit, because I do, that's kind of badass, but, oh, we got the dynamic pose there. But yeah, I want something with the sniper, I think, that's not bad. Eh, too. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's really kind of cool. We'll do that for now. Like I said, if people want different uh, images, let me know. It doesn't show up super often, but it's still cool to have the customized one. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and take a mission photo here too. What? You kind of have a grenade launcher in your head, Joker. Stop that. Uh, let's go ahead and randomize. That's a little better. Oh, hell yeah. I love that thumbs up sign, it always cracks me up. Tell right. them to pose near an there we advent go. burger menu. For science, of course. Yours needs a dynamic joker? Alright, alright. Let's see. We fight. That's pretty dynamic, I don't know, man. Oh, and you were MVP. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of randomization. Kind of funny. Uh, so yeah. Dynamic, I assume you mean the action shots. Ah! That was terrifying. Oh, it was, oh, that's dynamic, but you're right up against a wall. <laughs> you can't get much more dynamic than that. Oh, God. Behold the War King. <laughs> oh, we gotta use this one. We gotta. Oh, it's so funny. Like, it's. It's alright this way, but it's so funny when you look at that your face planting into a wall. Uh, yeah, we could do something like that. Behold the War King. <laughs> oh. Uh. Alright. Alright. Behold the War King. That's too good. Alright, but yeah, like I said, let me know if you want changes from- Oh, I love Behold the War King. Uh, no, it's not- Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna take the photo, but then we probably will read. whoops. We probably will redo it, just because it's not good as, the uh, intro. Do it best angle. You do want it? Alright. Um, I'm thinking something like... We want the sword in there too, but we also want your face into the character. Maybe something like... Something like... You could also go close. That's not... bad. Sure. I love it though, Behold the War King. And, ah, uh, alright. It's fine. And we already took mission photo, so let's go ahead and go. That was too funny. Alright. And our random will level up. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their I love the propaganda too. Center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. <laughs> And you show up there too. Excellent. Hundred wait, hundred percent success and most damage, most effect, most damage. But yeah, hundred percent to hit. That might not be XCOM. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. 
Our troops continue to exceed expectations cool, we got while working with limited on most of the people. Impressive. Uh, Joker? And... Ooh, this is the choice. Do I give... Do I give the plebs full creation control of the character or not? Um, sure, what the fuck, let's do it. Um, so yeah, uh, Joker, you can choose between Phantom for the stealthy approach. Uh, or Blademaster for the sword approach. Personally, I love Blademaster Rangers, but I'll leave it in your hands. And Nolan, you did not level up, but you can uh, uh, if you're here. Oh, you can't click on it from here anyway. But um, anyway, let's go see. Each of our soldiers is rated based on their combat understanding of our genius. tactics and genius. Is she genius level intelligence? We she is. Combat intelligence. And we'll because gain of their ability points much experiences less. in the field. Soldiers. Our yeah. faction soldiers from the resistance. We'll gain access to new abilities based on this combat intelligence. We'll grab Shredder here. It's so cool. Um, and let's see what she gets. She gets uh, Ranger. Cool. I like I like another Ranger. That's pretty good. Um, let's see what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. Hey, let me know which one you want. Phantom always. Oh my God! You're killing me here. You're killing me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and get this later though. I'm gonna do it. But yeah, fine. Phantom. Phantom Ranger. Because you never want to come on any mission. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, that's pretty damn nice. Alright. And we got a scope. I know, right, Highlander? It's, he's killing me with that oh, phantom bullshit. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut yeah, it Yeah, I know. I, I am going to grab Save both. Save our world. Yeah, the I, clock is ticking. I prefer the luck, sword rangers. Commander. Like I said, I'll let, I'll let the viewers decide their soldiers this time. It's, it's fun, too. You talking shit to me? I I played I I played off stream. Remember, I was I was setting up my mods and stuff, and I can tell you that the uh, sword rangers are fucking badass. So don't talk shit to me. Ah, uh, got him. All right, contact the resistance in the black site region. Okay. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Another Oops. impressive right, effort, so Commander. My Wallace? expectations were high, and yet you yes. have exceeded them. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Okay, we have some empty I've stuff. I've got to head have... to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. All their advanced technology. They had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and the seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers, they're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement. Alright, let's see what our options are. What are we going to want first? Not that. Although it is nice because it lets you buy the additional things, so... That would let us make Joker useful soon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we also, of course, have the Guerrilla Tactics School. 
Very nice. I forget what I like to build first. Um, Cause yeah, I'm, this takes too long. So I think we do clear out the top. No so we'll far, go I ahead. Anything critical among the alien components left over in this place. area? If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for right. a facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared Build out. Build something. Mm, you're probably right. We're low-ish on supplies. We don't want the workshop yet anyway. So yeah, I guess we could we could build something instead. We could go training center or probably guerrilla tactics. I d issue is I don't think we need to staff the guerrilla tactics. Yeah, you don't need an engineer for guerrilla tactics. Um, and I'm going to build a workshop here um, in the center, I believe. Uh, what would you build? I, I, yeah, it has been a little while. I don't remember everything. But yeah, we could build training center. Forget if it needs staffing. Don't really care about laboratory, although I mean it's all right, but just not. Yeah. Oh, uh, the train training center. But yeah, like I said, only issue is training center doesn't need an engineer so I might wait five days and build a training center on the new new spot to make max use of everything All right, Hello, researching very Work slowly well underway, we could change. Be some time yet yeah I guess we could change resistance comms now that we have it yeah I don't think we wait 27 days uh, let's go ahead change to resistance comms Working there in the a advent clinic. Uh, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing Workshops are a waste of resources overall, you think? You think I shouldn't even plan for them? Elderly and infirm, so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. Hmm. It's a powerful, all right, powerful all right. thing we'll the aliens uh, Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. I guess we'll take your advice and build the tactic school then. What can I do uh, for you, Commander? I don't know. Research is proceeding as I guess planned, that's Commander. somewhat Hello, true. Commander. I put a, I, I like the in theory workshop, but when you actually get around to it, it yeah. It takes so long to actually like ever feel like building it. So alright, alright, we will not we will not play around it this time. Um, I'm not in a big hurry to get it, I think, so I think we'll keep the engineer here for the resources. It's only twenty one though. Um, there, we can do this in five or pause it and do this in seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess you are right. You can wait for an engineer and grab that for. Is it supplies or intel, though? But yeah, either way, I guess, yeah, you're probably right. Like I said, I like them in theory, but when I was playing, it, it never made sense to build them. So you're right, it doesn't make sense to position around them it's been slow going, all right but anyway I think we're I think we just keep scanning I don't need anything else Local right now resistance forces in all the right. area can get you into the site locator but you will need beacon to make contact with oh your network first. that's this for is only the beginning commander your leadership will be a beacon right. to our people across the globe. Yeah, we'll go Commander, ahead and do that. You're not going to believe All this. All those rookies over we there, too. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. That was... It's definitely one of ours from rookies. the original invasion. Um, yeah, I know so let's have rookies crazy, since that expires, but, but then we do want this since that gives us the there. weapons. I think we owe it to them to find out. Yeah, no. Nah. I think I think you're probably right. I think I'm just trying to be overly efficient to a point where it's actually inefficient. All right, we got Orn Trayer and Tessa West. That's annoying because those are the people we replace. That's really, so since it's always pulling from pool, it will keep using ones we already have if it doesn't detect their name in the thing. That's kind of weird. Uh, Avenger we, plotting whoops, new course. I meant to click not now. Whatever. It doesn't waste that much time. Um, we could go for supplies. It's decent early. I don't want to put this off too much though since it is nice. But sure, let's let's grab supplies. It's only a few, but we also only have a few. Alright. Is 
so yeah, we can't build anything there yet. Let's just keep clearing. We'll probably get a mission pop at some point. You are too trusting, John. The Hell skirmishers yeah. are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Hulk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? What Wait about and see. you? Volk out. <laughs> Actually think they might show up. Riker. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov. Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Let's go. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Yeah, I'd say they're bad. They hate pose each other. a threat. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Hell yeah. I'm digging this. If you've got the time, we have a little bit of a situation here that could benefit from your help. Hell yeah, let's go. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Wait, is it, this isn't the... This isn't the one. Oh, it was or is it? No, it is. Yeah. Alright, alright. Let's go. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. It's pretty bad. Hopefully enough. that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. Alright. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. I think we'll bring you and... I should be paying attention to bonds too. Let's see. Commander, each of our yeah, soldiers yeah. has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, He's their high with will grow. Specialist. I was thinking of bringing her anyway. Uh, so yeah, we could bring the specialist. That's pretty decent. Um. Let's see, let's go ahead and unequip everyone. Uh, Kevlar armor, scatter gun. I will go ahead and, even though I like the look of it, I think you wanted the, whoops, the shotgun. It, the color shows through a little bit more, so yeah, you can have the shotgun here. Um, I think everything else is set. Do we want anything else instead of the grenades here? We have one med kit, we could bring a med kit uh, instead. I think this is fine though. Ah, let's bring a med kit. Wait, you have the assault rifle, that will not do. Let's get you the old world assault rifle. I, I love it! It's so cool! Next squad is going to be. Uh, that will be our Grenadier, and I'm not sure we need this Sharpshooter. Maybe maybe we bring the other Ranger. Sh eh, Sharpshooter is decent as well. It's cool she's a genius. Um, but yeah, I think we just bring the Sharpshooter. And we'll take the frag here. Are you really not... 
keeping your weapons. Did I unequip? I don't know. But anyway, it's kind of annoying it's not remembering the weapons. Uh, like that. No med kit on this squad, but I think we'll be fine. Famous last words. Um, how much do we have anyway? 94 supplies. Um, I think just in case. Let's get another med kit. Take that instead of the flashbang there. Or we could even flashbang on you. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I think that's good. And. I will be right back. We'll take a break here. Ah, that would be interesting. Maybe I should use that mod instead. Um, it'll clean up a bit once I start actually modding weapons, since then it'll remember the weapon, I think. But yeah, that's kind of weird that it's currently not. But yeah, like I said, I'll be right back, and then we'll continue the mission. Peace.